Hello everyone, my name is Drumat and today and today why are you pinging my door on a string? Am I not mid? I made right. <laughs> and today we're doing a Xerath guide video. Uh, Lulu passed me mid, but I wasn't exactly sure, but she plays with Guardian, so yeah, she does, she did pass me mid. Today we're going to do a Xerath guide mid in flex against Platinum Diamond players. Uh, we're doing in flex because we don't want to int that much in Grandmaster and want also to focus onto the guide itself, because when I play in Grandmaster on Talia, for example, or in Pantheon, I can't really talk that much as you've seen on my other videos. So, we're still not playing against Bronze players, but it might feel like that sometimes. I'm going to do tomorrow or in two days a Talia video, mainly mid or jungle we're going to see. And for today we're going to talk runes, builds, micro, macro, abilities, summoner spells of Xerath mid. We're going to see how to play this electrifying champion and it's not going to be support, it's going to be mid. I rarely do support, you see in even my Tristana guide, I'm doing it mainly on mid because I enjoy it most. And we're going to discuss everything that you need to know. Okay, four runes I'm playing with Arcane Combat, Mine, Mana Flow Band, Transcendence, Scorch, Prince of Mind, Cup the Grace, and these rune stats, because I'm against an Anivia. There are though some, uh, some variations, you can play definitely for something like Absolute Focus, but I feel it's crap right now. You can play with the Gathering Storm here, but I don't like it. And you can definitely throw Qs to poke, like this. We're gonna talk abilities in a while though. For secondary, we can go Presence of Mind, Cup the Grace. I know I'm not pronouncing that right. Uh, but you can also go for something like Biscuits into Boots. And she pushes with double Q. I hate it. Can't match the push though, unless I do a lot of auto attacks. Alright, so I'm gonna lose that one. Yes, woohoo. What? That hit. That hit. Why are you doing that to me? Alright, so four runes we discussed. Four items, you're gonna see it in a second. But I need to farm decently. Okay, I have the same CS at her. Man, let me prove my passive at least. Wanna gank? No. It's fine. It's fine, but you got poked to death. <laughs> Uh, that just won me the lane there, by the way, because I can now just easily, easily poke down the Anivia. Alright, uh, we're gonna discuss uh, items in a sec. Just let me focus on the proper farming here. I want a cannon. Okay. Okay. But put that. Do the full combo. Get hit by the Q, doesn't matter. We are out poking her. She has teleport though. Okay, 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 okay. okay. Coming, 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 coming. Careful! Man! What are you doing? Oops. Well, I enjoyed the... I enjoyed the double boss. Seems that he was hinting a bit. I mean, I think he could have killed, definitely could have killed the... Uh, the guy. I could have stopped her. And she likely gonna teleport onto the minion. But if he teleports right here, I can just uh, auto attack her to death with the red buff. I want her. I sort of want her to teleport here. Why am I, Why did I miss that CS? Right. Ah, she didn't. Let me just throw some. Whenever you're playing Zerat, you should understand that this champion is a simple champion based on his skills, but a hard champion based on his skill shots. So. You're generally going to notice that once you have a certain item or your certain core, you're going to start to deal much more damage. But you're going to suck with this champion if you're not good at skill shots in general, so you gotta practice that a lot. For items, I like to play this champion with either Lyandris or Ludas, but I like to start with Adorans and two potions. I like to play with Lyandris on most champions because I believe it's very strong compared to the Ludas, and Ludas got nerfed. Also, the damage, the passive is insanely strong, so I accept that first before anything else. Also, you've seen that her dodge patterns are towards the bottom. You can notice that. Oh, man. Ah, uh, well, she dodged that. Alright, she started dodging towards the top side, though. Alright, so I'm starting generally with Lyandris. I'm missing CS because, again, I have to show the build. <laughs> Alright, let me just get this. Uh, that one and this one. So, I'm starting towards with Lyandry, I'm going for Sork Shoes, I'm going for Horizon Focus, into Rabadon's Void, Stuff Zonia, these two are interchangeable, but obviously you can go for Banshees, or you can go for Zonia faster, if you feel that you aren't uh, exactly surviving some Assassin lanes. Okay, that, 
that hurts there. I'm gonna generally go for this build. I'm sometimes going for Magi. I also played this in, in Grandmaster last patch. She's not, not uh, with the new items, but I played it before. And I can just grill her down. Alright. I'm gonna get hit by that. Let's do a bit more poke here. She has no longer a passive, so after level 6 I think we can just grill her down. She doesn't seem to be able to dodge much my abilities, so I'm just gonna win this. I, I hate that she doesn't dodge well. Alright, we also see an opportunity on bot to gank with my ultimate. We're gonna wear this, gonna recall, and I need to be careful to the mastery. I need to stick around with the ult until they decide to fight. But and you need to keep an eye on the map, right? Always. Okay. So we talked the builds. So again, alternatives. You can go for Ludens if you don't like Landris. Always. I'm always advising pick your poison. Test it. See what you like. Uh, instead of Dorans, you can definitely start with Dark Seal and go into Mejai. This could be a game where I could go Mejai. And let's talk a bit abilities. Uh, against assassins, you should be more careful, by the way, in this champion in general. L actually, let's talk summoner spells. I generally like to play with barrier in most matchups, but for example, in this matchup, uh, could, uh, you could go for teleport or stuff like that. But again, a good Anivia could wall you in and do the Q, do wall Q combo, and that would be very hard to survive. So, again, choices. Why am I losing so much? Yes, I'm an idiot. Sorry for that insanely bad farming. I'm gonna get that. Also, I bought two vision words. I like to have two always. And I'm gonna put one here. Even though I have this word, I like to have the extra. I'm gonna ping that this is up. Okay. I'm gonna keep poking her. We're gonna keep grilling her down with abilities. So you can go either teleport, cleanse, or barrier. Or even heal if you feel like you're gonna play more towards your jungle. But I like to play with barrier most of the time. Why am I doing this? Another problem of uh, focusing on talking. Low CSing. Alright. Gonna cast a Q so we don't lose that. Gonna ping that she's missing. Gonna ping this guy to be careful. Gonna hit the Q here. Gonna try. Okay, she started dodging towards the top side as you noticed. So you can see how the dodge patterns changes. So we gotta understand this kind of dodge patterns in order to hit it better. You've seen that I hit it now. So that's what you gotta do on Xerath, on AP mages in general. You gotta understand dodge patterns. Because unlike assassins which have generally easier time to hit skill shots because of dashes you would like to have this uh, have this skill shots patterns prediction map model in your head and you gotta understand that or so I'm also practicing a passive a lot so we're going to speak about the abilities right after I hit this yes I'm gonna move slightly towards spot because I'm level 8 also I have full full vision towards this side we can definitely, can definitely try to grab her. Can you bait her in? Alright, that's fine. Some poke. It's fine, we're backing off. Alright, for abilities. Your passive at says CS every 3 seconds, Zerat next attack against champion restores mana. Basically, you can do it also on minions, but it restores less mana. If you can hit champions, hit champions, but if you're low HP, don't grid for it. So that's a rule, generally. You should be careful to not grid for it, because I've seen a lot of people dying randomly trying to proc it. Right, so I'm gonna ping that she's missing. Gonna do a full Q. Gonna keep pushing. Gonna go for my items. Gonna keep the CS lead. Uh, okay, her Q is this laser that you've seen. You, it's your slowed while casting it. I'm gonna proc my pa ah, had no passive. Proking the passive now. Okay, gonna flash if needed. Gonna move towards the bot if needed. I got poked a lot here, but I do have my barrier, so I'm just gonna do this. Gonna proc the full combo here, and I'm gonna back off because you should gen you shouldn't generally go into melee range. I missed that max range. Alright, so we're going for Lyandris as we talked, and let's keep talking builds. Alright, so Q throws the laser, W throws the circle that you've seen, so this circle as you see here, which uh, deals more damage towards the middle of the circle, and slows people by 25% if you're hitting them outside the circle, the main, main circle, and 65% in the middle of the circle. E is a stun, 
a skill shot stun, all abilities are skill shot and ultimate you're going to say, you transform, you root yourself into place and you start dealing global damage on the map. Well, not uh, not entire map, but most of the map you'll have access to a rather large uh, rather large circle. Why did I miss that sis? Alright, so I'm gonna ping that she's missing, I'm gonna keep farming, I'm gonna go for Lyandris and what you need to understand on Xerath is that you don't need to rush. If you play safe generally and you don't die in games, you're going to have advantage. Your main combo generally should be W for slowing the targets into something like uh, E if you can hit it into Qs and you generally want to push with Qs and to damage, deal damage with Qs and to finish targets with your ultimate. I see now there is a Master E on the other side. I want to get this though. She put a vision word there. I see that Master E is going there, going back to mid to keep the CS advantage. So generally your combo would be try to hit W to slow the target, try to Q after that, and then keep doing that until she's low HP enough to be able for to be dealt with a full ultimate combo. Your ultimate gives you three charges at level one, four charges at level two, five charges at level three. So don't close it after level 11 immediately after the third shot. You have more shots. All right, remember to not waste your mana too much because you can wave in these spells as you see here. And if I hit this Q, I could definitely try to go for an ult. Man, I missed everything up. Ooh, I played that so bad. I know there is a time coming. Please don't flash. <laughs> why, why did he jump in? Ah, <laughs> I inted and you inted. Instead of saving me, he chose to go for the passive of the Anivia, which is crap. But I failed that one. I, phew, I failed badly. <laughs> it's fine though. It's not a problem. You need to see also the int that I do. Okay. Oh boy, that's a problem. That's a bigger problem. But I expect the listen to <laughs> survive. Although we have that on top, so it's fine. Gonna lose a bit here. And Nivea is the strongest champion into the game. You've seen the damage output. Gonna think that she's doing that. And I'm going towards it. Uh, I'm going towards this wave. I'm going towards the Drake. I'm going to miss a lot of CS. If I stay here, if I go there, but I'm gonna throw to some cues and then I'm going to move towards it. You're gonna win this probably, as it looks like. Because uh, they have less champions than us here. But, oh my god, they played well. Careful, come on, come on, come on, come with me, come with me. I'm gonna try to snipe this guy. Man, that Q, it wouldn't kill him anyway, but I have my ult in 10 seconds, so it could help if I actually hit the E, but she, he went back. Alright, hit this, back off, hit the Q, hit the W, max range W, hit another Q, ultimate, and get that done. Alright, so that's fine. And I could perhaps get here a plate, because I know he has no ult. I still can get a plate here. I see Master E on the other side. I could go for Landry's now. Ooh, okay. Right, so we got that again. So I'm creating a level gap onto the onto the Anivia right now. I'm doing another push. I missed that Q horrendously. Alright, gonna push this in. What? Did did he just solo you? Man, our listen isn't that bright. Alright, we're not gonna flame. Let's go for Landry's. Let's go for Sork Shoes. And keep that vision word in place. This guy will probably die here if he's not careful. Forgot could ulti him, but he doesn't have any mana. Alright, so the combo as I told you is W into E if you can hit it. When you suspect they don't have vision, what? What are you doing? When when you don't uh, when they don't have vision on you, you could simply just uh, E first from the line of sight, and uh, if you hit it, you can do your full combo like E into W into Q. For example, she doesn't know I'm here, right? And if he dies here, that's bad. But he seems to be content with it. Oh boy. Well, I deal damage a lot. 
And I like to generate play with Landris because I believe Ludens became quite bad. <laughs> I want to cast an ult on bot. I have four stacks of all. Ah, uh, they backed off. Mastery is coming. Mastery is coming, but it's definitely. There is definitely going to be a fight. Ah, oh, never mind. Going back to mid. Anivia, it's there, you're gonna die. So I know Anivia is going to be there, so I have to try to to push this. Look at that burn, it's amazing. Wait, can I steal that blue? Nah. Alright, let's try to get another kill on her. So she has no vision on me right now, right? Okay. So, do the Q, ult, into another Q, into auto attack, and we dealt with it. But Lee Sin is likely dead. I think he's gonna flash. Ah. Uh, yeah, there is no way I, I am living through that, because... I shouldn't, I should have backed off immediately, that would have helped me, and I can go for Horizon Focus, but I need to stick to my teammates if I do so, because if I go for Zonias, I would have the safety, but if I go for Horizon Focus, I will have the damage. Rabadon is also an option, but this item is very strong on Xerath, because you proc it every single Q, and it also increases the damage taken, it also works for your ultimate, and it's quite an enjoyable AP item for, for long range champions. Let's talk about macro a bit, the phases of the game, what you gotta do. On lane, you generally want to try to knock the opponent out of the lane if you can with your poke. But in general, you should you should be careful to gank. So if you're against an assassin, something like that, you, they can close the gap. If they can close the gap on you, you should be careful to not dying to them. So uh, that's your purpose. And in general, that's a rule for Xerath. Stay away, be artillery. Artillery means you're far away from the opponent. You're not in melee range as I sometimes go. I shouldn't even be hit by the Anivia stance, for example. Right? And if I hit another Q here, I could again push her away. So as you can see, I missed the cannon. As you can see, that's very simple. Can you, can you come here? And here I'm staying out of vision, trying to help Lissin drag it out, drag it out. Trying to help Lissin with that. I'm gonna use my combo onto the Drake, and I know, man, I'm gonna try to throw the Q randomly towards the. I hope, I thought he was going to jump, that's why I stayed like that. Alright. Throw that, throw the ultimate, get that kill in. I'm gonna have the problem with Master E. Okay. That's a big problem, because I can't really damage him. Alright, oh my god! Could have escaped that, but... If you don't kill war, if you don't kill Master e, well, they are going to do that every single time. And Vayne dash dashes a lot. Master E has a lot of Qs. We need to do that. We need to catch that guy. And I've positioned properly, but I flashed badly. That was the mistake. As you can see, even though I'm getting kills here, even though I'm getting advantage, my farm is still quite low because I go to fight a lot. And you should aim for 8 to 10 CS per second, and you can easily uh, stick to the mid lane and push the wave, or even if you can farm on the side lane. But Serat is a mage that can just push but cannot really fight one versus one a bruiser for example so you generally have to be in team fights for your team all right and this can turn into a very nasty nasty late game uh, surprise from the vein and from Master E. so we have to keep this level two level advantage that you see on mid and top we have to stick to our strengths but we have to catch the mastery because if you don't we're not gonna win this Definitely not gonna win this if you don't. They can be around here. Okay, get that. Thank you. And I need to be careful. I have my barrier. I don't have a stopwatch. I can buy a stopwatch uh, after it. What I'm worried about is that this item loses its passive, basically, even though you get a better one. 
Okay, they are trying likely to kill. I might get dived by the mastery. Okay. That's impossible to deal with. <laughs> that guy can tank infinitely. And somehow they fought against the Yi. What? Ah, why did you fight the Master Yi there? Why? Why? And why is Warwick on the bot side and not... Man. There are some questions about this game. I had no way to... I should have backed off this. Should have went straight for the vein. Should have... No, I'm not gonna get eaten by that guy. But this turns out into a pretty difficult game. Because of the jungle gap. That happens to be the mastery, and he plays pretty well though, the problem is we can't really stop him. Because <laughs> my guy doesn't ult him. Alright. Got him. Got at least one spell there, it's fine. My god! That guy trolled with Tav, he would have saved him. Can't hit him with anything. Okay, 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 okay. Baron, 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 Baron. Let them take towers. Let them take towers. Okay, we can win this. We can win this. I need to position my skills properly to actually deal damage to. They can get that. They can get that. Let them take second inhib if they want. This Baron will actually level us up, and will allow us to continue dealing damage. You can also instant Q, by the way, as you can see here. I don't care about the second inhib. Although, uh, someone like Lee could have backed off, it's fine. It's a good trade. It's a good trade, I'm pretty much sure. Because Kaiser is here, we can actually we can actually stop them. We can actually stop them from taking a hip and that's a win-win. Go, 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 we stop them, we stop them, we stop them. We also set up our next Drake here. Okay, Drake, 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 Drake. Oh, base, 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 <laughs> and then Drake. Gonna need Warwick. Gonna need Warwick. Without Warwick, we don't. Don't, don't, don't. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I can't move towards it properly. Go! Go! Good! Get the Drake! Get the Drake! Get the Drake! And if I teleport maybe, be careful to that. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Get back! Ah, get out! Nice! Run! Run! Fight, fight, fight! They are, they are going to lose this fight. Hit, hit, hit. Oh man. No, wrong way. Got him. Although mastery is coming, I have to back off. I have to back off. I have to back off. I'm not sure if I have time to escape the mastery. But <laughs> look at our base, man. We did the right things though, even though we lost that we won a lot of gold, a lot of fights. All we have to do now is wait for the inhib, go for the drake, get the mountain soul, get the next uh, get the next baron and we won the game. It looks like this, but it's definitely doable. So we made the correct choices in terms of macro. We definitely made the correct choices because if we went to death that inhib earlier we wouldn't have the baron. And if we wouldn't have the baron, they would have the baron, obviously, because we can't really defend it with two in with one inhib down. Uh, and mastery and all of them alive. So we just went for the, we just went for the outnumber gaps. And we should be careful today. Okay, get 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 him. 
And that, that he and Alaf, it's annoying. Alright, stopwatch. Stopwatch is mandatory. I will have, I will, I will not have the flash. So that's why I'm speaking about stopwatch. I think I'm going for Zonia straight. Even though, because I deal enough damage with Lion, so you can see it's already 2300 damage and 500 for the guy. If you fight one versus one, we beat him. We beat him. Just hit, hit your CC. There you go. Just, that's how strong my burst is right now. And Xerath gets a lot of insane burst with uh, with this item, so you will outscale them eventually. Get him. Get him. Right. I'm going uh, back to see if they are trying to. Then no one is back during. No, no one is back during us. But we are winning heavily now because Master we trolled in that fight. And they also they also have a tank. Oops, I forgot about the landries. Go on, go on, go on. We are again at an advantage in terms of. Uh, don't dive, man! I keep forgetting about this. Play as a team and we're gonna win. Look at that poke. Look at that poke. Just have to keep the distance. Keep the distance, cast spells, keep the distance, cast spells. It's gonna be fine. They're also coming here likely. They are maybe doing something to get us from the side. I need level 16. I would get that right too, but I need my blue. Ma he got the blue. Let me just get rid of that right. My man got the blue. Lee Sin got the blue. <laughs> what? Alright, we need to be careful not to die for the next uh, Drake and Baron stuff. So... I would advise them to play safe. So gonna get the Zonia, gonna get Vision Words. We are winning this. And as you can see, as you will see, I will be probably in the first people at the damage counter. And at this point, Drake is more important than Baron. By far. That shield is exactly what we need. Let them have Baron, to be honest. Let them have it. Let them have it. Let them. Let them. Just, it's more important. Please don't get stuck into the mentality that... Baron will be more important than Soul. This one is important. I could ult there though. But I see I see or God. Let's see if we can steal it. Oh whoa 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 they aren't doing it. They aren't doing it. Okay, okay, okay. Help him. Oh my god, we are in idiot No! Time! I forgot about them! <laughs> no. Wow, we got so mental broken. I forgot. I haven't even looked at the map. But we wouldn't have time anyway. That was smart. The moment they I decide the moment I've seen that they are not on Baron is the moment I should have thought we will lose the game. Man, that's insanely bad for me. That's the cost of not having towers, but it didn't matter though. Even if we, with towers up, I think we would have still lost that one because they do a lot. I'm, I'm, with one tower up, we would have lost. With two towers up, we would have win. But man, <laughs> that was something. That was a game. Fun game though. Generally fun game. Although I was first at damage by a very large margin. With Lyandris, you're going to be generally first. And let's recap real quick. So that... Could have been won, but let's recap real quick. And uh, we discussed runes, builds. You can go for some variation on runes. We discussed that. You can go for Ludens instead, but I believe it's less damage overall than Lyandris. I really like Lyandris. And you can, uh, you max Q, then you max W or E based on max W second, fourth, burst. You try to open up with W. If you hit it, then you open up with Q, with E and Q and try to combine those. 
if they don't have vision on you, you can sneak a uh, heal them and get the kill. Finish up with ult. Play with teleport or barrier or cleanse based on it. Cleanse works against things like Zoe, against nasty CC champions like Ramos, against Amumu maybe, against Ahri, stuff like that, Syndra. That's what cleanse works against, but barrier is better against burst, so against the you gotta be careful. And let's talk a bit about micro, macro. On, on lane, you have to be careful not to die. In general, you have to, to. You're not going to be the assassin that dives in and gets the kills and sometimes dies. No, you, you try to get kills or not, but you do, you survive. That's your goal. You survive. You get those items in. You get the wave clear in. You do a lot of combos onto the enemies, as, as and you've seen it on the fights. And I agree that I, I was I played that bad so. I played the last fight so badly, man. I'm, I'm ashamed of myself because I didn't see that uh, the, that fact that they will do the Tarkin thing. I always forget I'm with the Tarkin, and that's what won them. Movement speed from the ultimate and Tarkin going in. Mastery movement speed, I mean, and Tark mode. And yeah, in fights, you should keep the distance. Be into the backline. Be careful to their divers towards the backline. Pick a stopwatch early if you need, if you feel like you're going to get burst. And try to be in top two always at damage at the end of the game. Even though you should be careful, you should deal a lot of damage. So that's your indicator of playing good versus playing bad. No deaths and a lot of damage. Basically, those are your core factors. So yeah, that's all that you need to know in order to play this champion better, in order to play Xerath better. And I guess that's all. See you next time, guys. And I really hope you enjoy this kind of guides. We're going to do a Tilia tutorial next days somewhere probably tomorrow or in two days we'll see see you next time guys and have a wonderful week ahead goodbye